Rwanda, often hailed as a beacon of African progress, is undertaking transformative mega projects that are set to redefine its economic and developmental landscape. These initiatives are crucial for Rwanda's Vision 2050, aiming to elevate the country to upper middle income status. The strategic focus on infrastructure, technology and urbanization has not only sprouted economic growth but also significantly improved Rwanda's global standings. This progress highlights the country's resilient spirit and forward-thinking governance. This project span transportation, energy, technology and urban development. Hello everyone, welcome to Connect Slug TV where we create entertainment videos about Africa and the world. Today, we will be exploring the top 10 massive projects transforming Rwanda from 2024 to 2026 and beyond in no particular order. The project at number 10 is among the most ambitious projects in Rwanda, expected to be completed by 2026 at a reported cost of $2 billion. The project will significantly boost Rwandan economy upon completion. If that sounds like something you're interested in, like, subscribe, share and comment on which project you find exciting. 1. Amaoro Stadium Upgrade the newly refurbished Amaoro Stadium was inaugurated by President Paul Kigami, who recently won his re-election as the President of Rwanda. The inauguration took place on Monday, July 1, 2024, after a significant two-year facelift that began in mid-2022. The Amaoro Stadium is now one of the three CAF certified stadiums in East Africa. The renovation project has increased its capacity from 25,000 to 45,000 seats. The upgraded facility now has a circumference of 800 meters and a length of 30 meters with five levels of infrastructure. It features both football and rugby pitches that meets international dimensions as well as a modern athletic track. In addition to the upgraded sport facilities, the Amaoro Stadium includes shops, restaurants and bars, ensuring it remains vibrant even without sports-related events. The project also boosted the local economy by employing an average of 90% local citizens and supporting local businesses. In August 2022, SUMA a Turkish-based construction company secured the deal worth $165 million to renovate the Amaro Stadium. 2. Kigali International Finance and Business Square Located in the commercial business district, the proposed $100 million Twin Towers are owned by Equity Holdings Group PLC. Equity Group, one of the largest financial service institutions in the region with assets worth over $13.5 billion, has banking subsidiaries in Rwanda, Kenya, Democratic Republic of Congo, Uganda, Tanzania, and South Sudan. It also has a commercial representative office in Ethiopia. The property would be developed by Equity Holdings Venture Capital, an investment arm of equity group. The proposed Kigali Financial Square, a business complex, is set to serve as a regional hub for financial services. will boast a 20-story office building, a hotel, apartments and retail spaces. Kigali International Finance and Business Square seeks to be an icon set for the city, located among Kigali's skyscrapers. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share the video. 3. Inzovu Mall Inzovu Mall is a 4,000 square meters mixed development project located in Rwanda's capital city, Kigali. Its construction commenced in August 2023 and is being developed by Duval Great Lakes, the project entity of Group Duval. The project encompasses a retail center, entertainment area, serviced apartment, hotel, and an office building with co-working space. It is expected to be completed in September 2025. The project will include a four-star hotel with 95 rooms, a contemporary office block, an extensive retail section, spacious hypermarkets, a diverse range of food and beverage outlets elegant restaurants, fully equipped conference rooms, duty-free malls, reputable banks, and leisure facilities. 4. The Green City Kigali 
a 620 hectare site has been selected in Kenya, Gasambo district, Kigali city. The project aims to showcase the viability of green cities in Rwanda and the elements that could be replicated in the development of secondary cities across the country with green technologies and innovations for green and climate resilient urbanization. The four to five billion dollars development project will accommodate 30,000 housing units to benefit around 150 people and create at least 16,000 jobs for the Rwandan community. The Green Park project has two phases. The first phase, called Cactus Green Park, is a housing development with multiple green aspects. It will serve as a pilot to scale up other green buildings and green urban planning project. The project is expected to include the construction of 410 houses, which will be built by a local contractor, Horizon Construction Limited, on 13 hectares. The second phase of the project involves setting up green affordable housing under a contract with the Rwanda Social Security Board on 125 hectares. This will be followed by the construction of a commercial and office buildings to attract innovative green businesses. 5. Rusizi 3 Hydropower Project Rusizi 3 Hydropower Project is a proposed hydropower plant with a planned capacity installation of 206 megawatts when completed. The Rusizi 3 Hydropower Plant Project which is a part of the Program for Development of Infrastructure in Africa PIDA concerns Burundi, the Democratic Republic of Congo, and Rwanda. It entails the construction of a runoff river dam between Democratic Republic of Congo and Rwanda downstream from the Rusizi 2 hydropower dam, a 147 megawatt power plant, and a distribution station. Burundi's current total capacity will double while Rwanda's will increase by half. The DRC's share will contribute to rising supply in the eastern region which is currently not connected to the interconnected network while also significantly reducing the percentage of energy from thermal origins. The project will help meet the need of the population and the economy in general in accordance with the national development strategies of the countries concerned which underscore the importance of ensuring a reliable and affordable electric power supply to achieve sustainable economic transformation. Now, halfway through the list, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share the video. 6. Kivu Ports Built in the Nyanyumba sector on the shores of Lake Kivu, which lies between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC in the western province of Rwanda since February 2020. The port was scheduled to be completed in 2021. However, construction activities were disrupted by the COVID pandemic. The port has a storage capacity of 8,000 cubic meters with security assured through monitoring and protection by a digital smart system. It also features parking, a road network and staff offices. Additionally, the Rusizi port is currently under construction. The two ports were initially slated to be completed at a cost of $12 million, funded by Trademark East Africa, now Trademark Africa. 7. Kigali Green Complex Kigali skyline is set to undergo a remarkable transformation with the construction of the 29-story Kigali Green Complex KGC Tower, which will include 6 basements resulting in a total of 35 floors. This building will become the tallest in the country, surpassing the Kigali City Tower, which currently has 20 stories. The new complex will feature multifunctional spaces including areas for banking, retail, offices and car parking. 8. Zaria Courts Zaria Courts is an urban development project focused on community, hospitality, sports and culture. Currently under construction in Kigali, Rwanda, located within Kigali's vibrant sports and entertainment district, adjacent to the newly built BK Arena and the upgraded Amaoro National Stadium. It is slated to be opened in early 2025. 
Zaria Court centers around an urban hospitality hub that reuses existing buildings and features an 80-room boutique hotel, a rooftop lounge, a gym, wellness spaces, co-working spaces, and a podcast studio. At the heart of the site is a multi-purpose court which will serve as a venue for sporting events, festivals, performances, markets, and other activities. 70% of the site is dedicated to biodiverse, sustainably designed open green space. This area is intended to foster an ecosystem that encourages both play and rest, with smoothing space for relaxation and play areas for children center central to the design additionally two five aside soccer pitches available for tournaments and local leagues are included in the green space nine kigali innovation city kigali innovation city kic is being developed as a mixed use master planned innovation city situated on a 60,000 hectares of land in kigali rwanda KIC aims to facilitate the development of pan-African talent and serve as a technology innovation hub. Its plan includes four universities, office spaces, and startup business incubators, along with supporting facilities for retail, hospitality, and accommodation. Kigali Innovation City is expected to generate over $150 million in ICT exports annually and attract over $300 million in foreign direct investments. Kigali Innovation City is projected to create over 50,000 jobs upon completion. Additionally, over 2,600 students are expected to graduate annually from its universities over the next 30 years, contributing to Rwanda's and Africa's pool of tech-savvy entrepreneurs. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. 10. Bujesera International Airport Bujesera International Airport is located in Bujesera District, Rwanda, and has been under construction since 2017. The airport is being built in partnership with Qatar and is expected to be fully operational by 2026. It will feature a 4,200 meters runway and have a capacity of 1.7 million passengers per annum following the completion of the first phase of work. The total construction will include the runway, a cargo terminal, a passenger terminal with a capacity for 4.5 million passengers per annum. As of July 2023, the airport was expected to cost $2 billion. In November 2023, local newspaper The New Times reported that 26.7 megawatts from the 80 megawatt Rusumo Hydroelectric Power Station will be dedicated to powering Bujesera International Airport. Thank you for watching. Let us know which project you are anticipating the completion in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you would enjoy this one too. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and as always, stay connected and stay inspired. See you on the next one.